Hello all, and uh, welcome to this video. I thought it would be nice to do just an off-the-cuff um, video today uh, for the Composer channel. Um, if you guys saw my other video of the 10-minute composition of music challenge, you'll know that I failed that, but at least, at least, we got to have some fun on that video. Um, but in this video, um, I know that I've been getting some questions on my other video about how to use SMP Press, which is Sheet Music Plus's publishing, independent publishing arm, to sell your music. And there have been some changes that have come up over the past few years since I did that video in 2012, I believe it is. So I wanted to go through those with you. And hopefully, uh, you'll get some very, very useful information out of them. Um, first, what we're going to do is we're going to go towards the sign in tool. This is the home page. And you could sign up if you haven't already signed up. But I'm going to go ahead and sign in. <clears throat> Click this blue tab. I'm going to sign into my account. And I have to try it again since it didn't work. And then sometimes it'll take you through these other windows because all the, you'll notice on Sheet Music Plus, you'll have your regular Sheet Music Plus account, you'll have an affiliates account, if you choose to have an affiliates account, like sometimes I'll sell sheet music from other people on my website and get an affiliate commission, that's one of their programs, and I can go into a video on that if you so like, if you put it in the comments that you want that kind of video. There's also the S&P Press account, and they're all linked to your um, Sheet Music Plus account. So, here we go, trying again, since they didn't log us in the first time. And then you'll see your sales dashboard, which is the first window that comes up. You'll see all your sales from um, the last at least seven months or eight months, as much as they could fit on the page. And you'll see the welcome thing. You'll see... Uh, Add new product. If you ever want to add new product, you just click the add new product uh, pane and click add an original composition. If it's an arrangement, original public domain, if it's public domain arrangement, make sure that it's public domain and somebody doesn't have copyright over it. Always do your research. Um, there's an arrange me title. Um, that's another separate program that's part of the S&P Press experience, which if I could fit it in this video and it not be too long, then I could put it in. But otherwise, I'll do another video on that. Um, <clears throat> and, and then, or if you want to just add an MP3 to an existing title, you click this box. But now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the dashboard and we're going to add an original composition. So I'm going to add one of my files. I'm going to make sure I have a PDF already. And then we're going to have choose file. We're going to go down here. We're going to upload our file. Let's find chord study one. And it's always hidden somewhere. Then make sure it's a PDF. It doesn't accept finale files. It will say a red notice saying this is not a valid file type, so it needs to be a TIFF or a PDF or some sort of document that just can be printed. Um, so make sure you use the print function on your PDF, uh, a PDF function on your print options when you're in finale or your score creator to 
to make the PDFs or another PDF creator before coming to this step. And then if we had an audio clip, we'd put it in here. I actually don't have an audio file for this one. And for the interest of time or the sake of time, I'm just going to plot on down to the entering the music details. You're going to enter your title, Chord Study. And then I'm going to say, put my price in down here, the list price. This is how much you'll be selling it for. And then you can go higher than that. It's just that this piece is only one page long, so there's not really a lot on it. Um, you're going to add your description. In this box, you can bold italic or underline it or small text. Of a chord study series. For piano to help small uh, or to help uh, introductory students at the primer or first levels or the SP level one level early beginner. get ahead with reading music. Now notice when you put your description on here, don't just plop a whole bunch of text on here. What you have to do is you have to think about what is this piece going to be for? Um, you can always click tips for descriptions and it will ask you, um, it'll pull up this little notice, sheet music, music lovers love to know as much information about your title as possible. Here are some ideas. What solutions does your music provide? What programs functions does it serve? Is it appropriate for schools and students? Does it work for church services? If so, which ones? Performance practice suggestions are also welcome in that window there. The historical context, the duration of the work, your performing rights organization, your, sh your social media channels and contact information. So you can put all of that in here. And even on some of my bigger pieces, what I'm going to start doing, because I've got a lot of music that I'm writing right now, but the bigger pieces, there's going to be a page on my music where I say, okay, here's what this piece is, who this is who or what is it for, and practice suggestions, and runtime, performance time, um, I'm going to put um, my contact info, which is basically cjwmusictranscriptions.com, cjwmusiclessons.com, that's the other website, and possibly my YouTube channels, like this one and my tutorials channel, um, as main channels for this. So that way ever, anybody could find me here on YouTube, anybody can go to my websites. So what you want to do is you want to Underline, this is the beginning of a chord study series for piano to help introductory students at the primer or, sorry, not of, or S&P Level 1 Early Beginner at, to get ahead with reading notes, not notice. Notes and chords. Melody and harmony are in the piece throughout. So you're giving the potential buyer what they're in for when they get this piece. Um, most useful for beginning pianists students and adults. Learning music. So I'm kind of overstating it, but you want to make sure you get your point across. And then I'm going to go ahead 
and I'm going to put want more piano music. Go to And I'm just typing all my little information. Catch me on YouTube at, and then you can actually get your YouTube channel up here. Pull up YouTube. And once that comes up, you're going to actually find your channel. So find your channel, go to your channel homepage, my channel. You can even go to your, your creator studio. Um, and you're going to search this box. And then this is your, your link here. So you're going to put that in this description here. You can get rid of the question mark. Or at CJW Music Tutorials. And then I'm going to go to that channel, CJW Music Tutorials. I'm going to go to Switch Account. CJW Music Tutorials right here. I'm going to click it and it's going to log on. And then I'm going to be able to see that one as well. And put that link down. So, you go back to your SMP Press title. You're going to put colon there. That way they know where to get in contact with you. That's the main way to get in contact with me. I, I don't put my Facebook or stuff on there, although I should. But for the sake of time, I'm just going to leave it there. Composer, Cody Wyman. And then Arrangers, if different from the Composer, you can always put that on there. Um, piano and keyboards, piano solo. This is all the instrument and um, the ensemble that's supposed to be going on. This is what you put for your um, your um, categories because Sheet Music Plus categorizes all their submissions under instrument families or you know different different uh, occasions. And is it, I have another video on this that goes into. Um, all of the all of the different pages that you go to but go through um, all these categories if you have a different instrument and find that instrument and select it there is a thing at the bottom towards the bottom of the page where it has group you could put if there's no um, instrumentation listed uh, for your instrument you can add your own instrumentation right there and then Format, individual part, lead sheet, whatever. Put that on there. Um, put those categories on there. Easy beginner, this is the level. So you did your instrumentation, your format, and your level right here. Easy beginner. And then your genre is here. You're going to select uh, 21st century. Um, you can also put instructional method. Etudes and exercises, repertoire, general in instruction, technique training. All of these are important attributes of the chord study piece that I'm putting up right now. So I'm going to put those as um, good ones for, for that. Um, 
and then you can go through some of the other categories. If it is, if it's not, you're fine. Then verify your rights. By using Sheet Music Plus SMP Press to upload and sell your music, you abide, agree and abide to the terms and conditions of the program. And I am uploading an original composition and I own all the publishing rights because I wrote it. Um, the next one down is I'm uploading the title for which I have acquired the worldwide publishing rights. Go to go to um, a search engine and type in the song's title and go research performing rights organizations, PROs. Go what PRO or performance rights organization is the song whatever belong to what what song what what performance rights organization owns this song basically and do a search on google try to find it if you know the performing rights organization go to bmi.com and search it and that way you can actually look up who actually owns the copyright for the song. That way you don't get in trouble. Um, there's a lot of copyright infringement going on, a lot of people getting sued, so you want to make sure that you have the proper protocols for this. And the last but not least option here is I'm uploading an arrangement of public domain music. Be very careful. Ch same thing, check to make sure it's still under public domain that nobody else in the estate is claimed to copyright on the music. When you're done with that, click Submit Your Music. Then you will see your music appear in the Manage Products section. And you'll see alongside your product once it's approved, it'll take one to two business days for it to be approved. And it will come with an email saying you submitted this piece to S&P Press. Here's the title, here's all the information, and it'll take one to two business days. Then you'll see another email within one to two business days confirming that the piece is live. And you'll have these Facebook, Twitter, Google+, and link uh, tabs for every, um, every piece that you write and publish with S&P Press. That way you can post it on social media, post it on um, Twitter, post, post it as links on your emails, under, under your signature file, on your email, or on your website. Now, all of this is the Manage Products tool pane. You have your dashboard, which basically says month, quick month-to-date overview of sales, pretty self-explanatory. You'll have reports that will say your sales by date, your sales by title, which this is the total number of sales that you've done by title. This is the estimated commissions. Then you'll have your payments by month. You'll have your payments all show up here. And this is after the 30 days uh, trial uh, money back period that they have. It'll post to here. And then you have your bonuses. This is for if you refer a composer right here and you send them to this link and you put that link under your email for them and they sign up and they start publishing music, you receive a $5 bonus on top of your regular royalties. So that's pretty cool. You want to check that out. Um, Arrange Me is kind of a different thing. This, you can choose a pre-approved song that they've already gotten cleared with the artists' PROs or performance uh, rights organizations where they can have your, your, their songs arranged by you in one of the topics that they say on this page. Instrument choirs, trios, solo, etc. You receive 20% commission on it for any of the arrangement titles that you've sold. Um, payments to the copyright holders come out of a portion of the sales retained by Sheet Music Plus, so people are not getting gypped in this. There's going to be no copyright infringement. You can only sell an arrangement title on S&P Press. Um, you can actually get written permission from the copyright holder to do an arrangement and download a sample PDF as well. 
And from time to time, we have contests. And right now is the keyboard contest with public domain arrangements, keyboard solo, keyboard ensemble, and so on. Those happen about three to four times a year, so stay tuned for those. And we're going to go market your music. This is where you'll have your publisher link and the social media icons. Then you'll have the submission tables where you have the number of pieces and the sales rank. The higher the sales rank, the more likelihood that this this uh, piece that you're trying to do will sell in the instrument category it's slated for. So that's all for this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to consult the comments, and I'll be doing more videos on this. Stay tuned.